Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can join the two SAP tables VBAK, so corresponding to information for the sales document header data and the VBRK, containing information about the billing documents, especially here also the header data. Here right now I have opened up the in two sessions, in two modes, the data browser, so the transaction code SE. 16n and showing you the two tables why is there no direct join between those two tables possible even though they have in two primary keys the v b e l n so in here to say we have to dive deeper into the data element to see the reason why a direct join is not possible so with the forward navigation here for the sales document i can see that here it's being used the vbeln underscore va and here for the billing document it is being using the vbeln underscore v f so therefore even though they are using the same domain with the same data type with the length uh, it is unfortunately not possible to to use those two technical components as a join condition to join those two tables we have to basically do a yeah to use link tables to link those two tables and to do this here i'm using sap query especially the info set and then sap query to link those two tables so um what we have to do is to link those two tables i'm creating an info set within the transaction code sq02 and therefore i'm just calling it set for example vbak underscore vbrk then I click on create. I name it join VBAK with VBRK. And here as the table join, I'm using the basis table VBAK. So then I confirm this. And that was what, what we need basically. We need some second tables to use during the join conditions. And that is, first of all, you can insert the table. And there we need, first of all, the VBAP. So therefore, we're joining the sales document of the item data with the, those two primary keys. Because if you're using the VBAP, then you can also insert another table. It's the VBRP. Well, VBRP. And the billing document of the item table, item data. And here it's important that you're not joining. Here the suggestion, the proposal is perfectly fine. Here you're not you shouldn't join the VBEL and with the VBEL in the VBRP table, especially also for the position number you have to. And therefore, I have to scroll down a little bit down here. You have to join the VBEL with the AUBEL and the POS number with the AUPOS. That's important. That's basically the key to the solution. Therefore, you are able to join those two tables. Then we're needing obviously the VBRK table. And then we're scrolling again to the top. What is the suggestion here? Especially you can join the VBL of those two tables. If you want to, you can also, depending on your requirement, your use case, you can use an outer join. So right click on the link, and then you're using a left outer join. If you, in some cases, would always have to output all of the sales documents and if there for some cases are no linkage to the billing document then all the sales documents will be output i will link another video explaining you in detail about left out the joints but that's basically all that's perfectly fine so we're going one step back now you have to decide what kind of fields you would like to include within the group default um, basically i just would like to use the key fields that's perfectly fine and here we have those for my demo purpose i will remove those um, field groups of the yeah 
linkage table in between that's not what i'm going to use and here you can correspond those to um, information so for the sales document and for the billing document then you can save it here you can specify one package so that you would like to link your info set i would like to link it to my dollar tmp so to my temporary package so i select local object then i generate and now we have generated our info set. What we then have to do is we have to create our SAP query in the transaction code SQ01. So environment and then queries to move to that. Then once again, within the SAP query, VBAK underscore VBRK. It's just demo purpose. Then I click on create here you now uh, see that your info set is not uh, available so because of that i have forgotten to uh, link my created info set to my uh, user group so therefore once again go into sq02 role user group assignment and then down here select your user group to that you would like to link your info set save it and then going back once again to the sq01 and now we're able to select our created info set here table once again maybe join vbak with vbrk stuff like that in the basic list we now have to um, yeah, specify what we would like to output as mentioned those two information we can save it and now we can test our sap query so i would like to output it and here we can see the result of the sap query and if we for example would like to test this then we um, we open up in another window for example the va03 transaction code this is the transaction code showing you the sales order so within here then for example we can we can do it with uh, whatever for example with the 397 Four. let's do it like this then hit the enter key and then with uh, environment and then display document flow we can see that this is the right billing document as we can see right now here we can do another test going once back and then enter for example the four whatever and then environment and then display document floor we can see once again that this is corresponding to the right billing document we can do of course the other way around if you would like to analyze the result based on the billing document so therefore we have to go to the vf03 transaction code and then for example yeah whatever we should enter let's enter the 12 whatever so down here and then go to environment and then display document flow and here we can see correctly the 34 so that is working perfectly fine and of course if you would like to add multiple fields to the sap query we can go to the sq02 to the info set once again and then select all your info set go to change and then within here you can add other fields to the field groups and then they are available within the sap query within the transaction code sq01 so this is a really easy use case how you can link those two tables by using two additional tables within the joining and if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video